Well, hey there, everybody. How's it going? Uh, I hope you can see me. I'm wearing camo. But it's raining. Um, anyway, uh, a couple days ago, my neighbor came in the shop. Uh, he was needing a lawnmower battery. And uh, he said he had this Cub Cadet over here. It's a couple years old. It has maybe 200 hours on it. And he was going to see about fixing it or getting it running so he could sell it. And uh, I said, well, how much you want for it? He said, well, if it starts up, he said, uh, I don't know. He said, does $300 sound too much? And I asked him, I was like, well, does it have the electromagnetic PTO on it? And he goes, what's that? And I was like, well, you pull a button to engage the blades. And he said, yeah. I said, okay, because mine has a lever to engage the blades, and I'd like the one with the electromagnetic PTO. Better blade speed, better power. Yeah, I just walked in my neighbor's yard. That's her house. Anyway, um, he said he'd take 300 bucks for it if it runs, and I'm like, okay. Well, he let me know it's running. You know, he put the battery on it and started to ride up. So I'm walking over here to pay him for this Cub Cadet. Um, the issue with it is... He can make one loop in his yard and it throws the dry belt for the deck. And I'm like, okay, well, I can have a look at that. And, but, um, anyway, uh, I'll figure out what's going on with that and fix it. But I'm on my way over here to buy it and drive it back in the rain. But it's not that far of a walk. I'm like three quarters of the way there now. So, we're going to check it out. I think it's a Cub Cadet. I'm not sure. We'll see. It kind of looks like one, but, you know, I saw it at a distance. So we'll see. All right, well, I'm back at the house. Um, I picked this up yesterday, drove it home, just parked it, loaded it up on my trailer today, took it to the car wash and cleaned it up. It cleaned up pretty good. And apparently somebody's had an issue with the deck shaking on this one. Because they got some weird wire there. But I looked at everything under here. And. It actually all looks pretty good. Not sure why that pulley's way up in the air there. But the rest of them are down low. i got to look into that. Uh, it goes high. It comes off of that. It goes. Let's see goes around that and back over this way but uh anyway i did a little research it's a 107 inch belt and i figured it'd be the tensioner pulley because they normally mount that right here the spring but somebody's already moved that and there's plenty of tension on that pulley and it's plenty tight it don't look like anything under there is broken the raise and lower cable works fine <clears throat> but yeah I gotta look into that pulley but it looks like it's made to go that high and it's in line with that front pulley with height so I guess it comes back and then down low and we got plenty of tension on that pulley But this one takes a half inch wide, 107 inch belt. And I'm gonna change the fuel filter and uh, do an oil change on it, put a new belt on it, get rid of this wire. But I found out why the it threw the belt on him. I mean, he just got it and it threw the belt. Well, that belt's pretty worn out and it didn't throw the belt, it broke it. But that belt being wore out will cause it to snag and put vibration into that deck. That belt is completely wore out and it looks like it's actually been rolled over at one time. And there's even a burnt spot right there which will make it tight in that one spot. You can see where it's burnt. I guess they hit some deep grass or something like that and burnt the belt. Which caused the deck to shake and uh, eventually snap the belt. So we'll get our belt out and put it on and see what happens. Uh, by the way, I don't have a lawnmower lift and I didn't want to sit on the gravel and work on it. So I dropped my trailer tailgate on a couple of bricks 
and then I put a set of loading ramps behind it so I've got a little space right there and I can set me a little stool out here to work on this thing without sitting on the ground and getting all wet but uh, I could have stacked two bricks up but then it would have dropped the back end down and I wouldn't be able to move the deck around if I needed to or even pull it out so I did it this way it's up in the air I can look up underneath the deck this way too without having to jack the lawnmower up well that was pretty much the easiest lawnmower belt install I've ever done and now I know why that's up there it's bringing the belts up high enough to where it don't contact um, the only issue I had I'll show you and I'll show you what I did to fix it all right it was getting the belt around behind this pulley because the uh, belt guides were pretty tight so I just loosened this pulley up pop the belt in and uh, tighten it back up real tight and uh, I started I had it all on the pulleys except for this one on here there you go focus anyway it was on all the pulleys except for this one and I took my ratchet with my 14 millimeter socket and put it on there and I put it to loosen the bolt of course the bolt was tight and I had no wrench on the bottom to you know counter that so anyway I indexed my ratchet over this way and just pushed and it pulled this pulley forward and it was real easy to put it on this wheel so if you put one on here and you can't get the tensioner to move put your ratchet on it try to loosen a bolt on it without a wrench to you know counteract your torque and just torque it around and pop it on there I've done that also for putting tensioner belts on uh, serpentine tensioner belts on cars but uh, I think it's good to go. So uh, it's wet. I know I shouldn't mow wet, but darn it, I want to test this thing out because I don't see anything wrong at all with that deck. I mean, nothing wrong with it. Uh, we might have a little bit of a leak back here, or it could just be dirt or whatever. And. Uh, but I don't see nothing wrong with it other than that steering lock nut. I need to run it up and tighten it up. The other one's tight, but I don't know why that tie rod end nut is loose, but I'm gonna tighten it up so it don't put so much tension on those threads. And then we'll test it out. All right, one other thing, I checked the air filter and fuel filter. And I checked the oil, and the oil is actually really clean, so it's had a recent oil change or it hadn't been run much after the oil change. Um, so I was gonna do an oil change on it, but I don't think I need to, but I do want to put that battery strap where it belongs. Anyway, this is the LT1042 Husky 42 inch deck. Oh no, sorry guys, didn't mean to drop you. But it's got the 42 inch deck and Here's your parts number for this particular lawnmower. It's got the 19 horsepower Kroller Courage. And I don't want to give you my serial number, but I'll give you the model number I'm working on here. If there's a model number. And that's the belt that fits it. So and it's a Kevlar belt, so it's actually an upgraded belt. And uh, I don't I don't buy the OEM belts for these lawnmowers when I work on them. I go and I look up the original part number, and then I go up there and I'll get the original part number belt off the shelf and measure it, and then I'll get the Kevlar belt that fits it. And uh, that's how I save myself some money when I do these things. But I do want to. Put that battery strap back in place. Let me do that real quick and then uh, we'll take it for a test run. Well, I was gonna try to get on video how easy this thing starts, but um, as soon as I hit the starter and I, on this um, Cub Cadet, as soon as I hit the starter, I gotta shove the choke in real quick, otherwise it won't start. So it starts real easy, but we got parking brake off. We got cruise control, and that's forward. 
And yeah, that's a tractor supply. Uh, that's actually a tractor supply um, dolly wheel. That's a 300 pound dolly wheel. That's the tire that should be on it. But I do have a set of tires on my other lawnmower, the Red Husky, that uh, LT4200, that I'm gonna put on here and take these off. And I'm thinking about putting some off-road mud tires on the LT4200, welding the uh, rear transaxle, rebuilding the head, because the head's warped on it. Using this to cut my grass and yank the deck out from under the Husky but if I put the ATV tires on it, it's going to give it like a four or five inch lift. So it'll be my utilitary and, you know, my utility one. But we'll see if this thing is going to throw a belt. I don't believe it will. There it is a lot of play in that steering, so I got to see what that's all about. So we're going to put it up on Rabbit. Cutting wet grass. You guys enjoyed the video hope you learned something and you see what I was hitting there walnuts that's what all that racket was I, I thought I might have had something loose or the blade hitting the deck but when I stopped it quit I didn't realize I was mowing walnuts all through there but uh, we have a healthy lawnmower we don't have a battery light we have a parking brake light which Tell me to put the parking brake on. There we go. We got 274 hours. We picked it up for 300 bucks because somebody just did not know how to put a belt on, apparently, or didn't realize their belt was burnt, causing the shake in the deck. But we'll rev it up, and I'll show you there's no shake in that deck. this can be besides hitting walnuts there's one right there we'll cut across out and under the trees no noise so it's just walnuts and sticks and like I said, we're cutting wet grass. Wide open, wet grass. No issue. So that's fixed. 
So I got me a real nice Cub Cadet for $300 and I spent uh, $28 for a belt and uh, I spent a little bit more for the stuff to do the oil change and an air filter which it did not need and the oil to do an oil change. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. It runs really, really good. Let's see if we can fire it up without the choke, see how easy it starts. There you go. And this one, you can turn the key back and hit that button. I uh, throttle it up and it'll cut in reverse. But anyway, I hope you guys found this helpful. Um, still got some play in the steering. I'm not too worried about that. But I am going to eventually order a steering gear for it. Uh, the steering gear, I'll probably have to pull the engine to replace it or uh, jack it up and get to it from underneath. But uh, yeah, I got me a good lawnmower. And that one up there is going to get off-road tires and the rear transaxle welded so I can use it for grading my driveway and probably a lower gear ratio so it pulls instead of you know i want a low rear gear ratio like a, a rock crawler anyway 